Welcome to UEN Video. We're going to spend a little bit of time with Microsoft PowerPoint. This is one of the tools you can use to create um, some kind of fun things. This is kind of more of an advanced technique. This is a custom animation and how to use it to create some some animated effects in PowerPoint. A lot of people are familiar with like simple animated effects. What I want to show you is kind of a more advanced animated effect. I'm going to click on this button to show the slideshow from that page. Okay, so as you saw, we can create a, an effect where the, the without clicking, without doing anything, the two things fly together and create an, an explosion. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me click on this slide here I've created that's kind of a copy of the original, and we're going to put the things together to do that. The first thing to do it is I need to insert those two images. I'm going to insert two of them to begin with. I'm going to choose Clip Art. I've already searched for explosion previously when I was building the first one. <coughs> Now I'm going to go ahead and click on, type in rocket. And let's go and see if we can find our rocket. Get our rocket in. I'm going to first resize it. I want it a little bit smaller. Move it down here to the corner and now rotate it. Now I'll go ahead and insert my meteor. that one. That's way bigger than I need it, so I'm going to shrink that down on size and move it up here. Now I could fancy this up and get some better a better picture, one that's kind of carved down like this one is without the extra stuff, but it's going to do for what I want to do. And we'll put in our explosion since we've got all our clip art up. Let's go down and find our explosion, one that we like. I kind of like this one. Put that one in. I'm actually going to resize that a little bit and just set it out of the way for now because we don't want to put it on top of where we're going to be animating. With that done, I can close my clip art pane and I can open the animation ribbon. And I'm going to use the custom animation tool, which will open up the custom animation pane. I'm going to select the rocket first and add an effect to the rocket. The effect I want to add is, an, is a motion path. This feature is not available on the Mac, but it's kind of a good one. So we'll click here. I'm going to do a curve. Now, when I do this, the first click will start my path. And I can kind of curve it up to a couple of places. Each click will put a new item in a new point in the path, and I press escape to be done. Okay. That actually looks just a tad big, so I'm going to click on that and gonna zip it down a little bit. Because I want to give some space for this one, I'm going to add an effect on this one. I'm going to do a motion path, I'm just going to do a diagonal down. And you say, oh, that's going the wrong way. And that's okay, because what I'll do is just drag it and move it to where I want it to be. Let's take a play and see how that works. Okay. One of the things you'll notice is that the asteroid or the meteor is on top of the uh, plane, we, or the rocket, we don't really want that. So I'm going to select this item, right click on it, and send this to the back. So that now if I play it, the rocket's on top. I also notice that my alignment is not quite what I want it to be, so I'm going to fix the alignment a little bit. I'm not going to spend too much time on getting that alignment just right because um, it just won't be worth our time. I want to show you what we're going to do. All right, next thing I need to do then is I need to um, animate their, the explosion here. So let's go ahead and move our explosion to the spot we want it to happen. My first effect is I'm going to have this come in. I'm going to have it dissolve in. And if that's not a choice on your list of options, you can always choose this more effects to find that dissolve in effect. And that's just the one I choose, chose because it seems to work best with the explosions. The next thing I want to do is I want that to do something else. I'm going to use an emphasis effect and have it grow and shrink. Rather than just the 150, I'm going to make it huge. It gets really big. And then when it's done getting huge, I'm going to have it exit with the dissolve out. Alright, 
let's take a look and see how that works now. Hit play. We still have a slight problem. Is first of all those things don't disappear yet, and also our timing is off. And this is what I wanted to show you really with this animation is this timing thing. I'm going to choose that to start with the previous. So as soon as the slide animates, the very first thing that will also happen is this picture here will animate. Then this next picture will go with previous. You notice I'm doing that, the little numerical sequencing of our events is changing. Our next sequence will be for this to dissolve in. We'll start that right after the previous. So it'll, a little slight difference is after these two are done, then this thing will happen. This can go with previous, and this can go after previous. The only other thing I want to do is I want to add in an effect to have these dissolve out. So let's click on that, add an effect, have it dissolve out. Oops, make sure I get the meteor. Add an effect, have it dissolve out. I'm going to adjust the order of those. I'm going to move that up right here above the explosion happening and have that start after previous and this one with previous. Now part of the reason I know which ones to do this with is the experience and just some time playing with it but you can kind of play with those different features to tell to get it to see if it works right. Let me hit play on this. These will hit each other and they start to dissolve. The other one dissolves in, creates a big explosion and I think I'm actually going to change this one to be with previous and let's give it a try full screen. That worked pretty well, except for one feature I forgot. When this starts to come in, I want that to also come in with a sound. So I'm going to choose effect options. I'm going to choose the bomb. So now when that dissolves in, it'll explode. Let's give it one more try here. That worked pretty well. Now this one is kind of one for fun and for emphasis, but I want to show you one where it's used a little bit more for an educational effect. Let's take a look at this animation. I'm going to have to click through some of this to get it to work right. So we've got this picture here, but because it's kind of hard to see from, a f in, from the back, we placed a circle to emphasize that idea. just to kind of give it an effect. Now, okay, thank you for coming in and, and uh, joining us with UEN Video Tutorials. This has been Microsoft PowerPoint Advanced Animation Techniques.